All right, so the focus of this video is everything you need to know about the atom. So the atom, as you know, is made up of three particles. It's made up firstly of the proton, then we have the neutron, and finally the electron. So we're going to talk about the intricacies of those three particles. So first up, we've got the proton. Protons have a positive charge. They are worth one atomic mass unit. That means in the scheme of how we talk about the size of the atom, protons get one of those, and it's atomic mass unit, atom atomic mass, because we're talking about the size, the mass, unit, because this is the special unit we made up just for talking about atoms. So they're worth one atomic mass unit, and they're located in the nucleus. So in this drawing, they're located here in purple. Positive nu protons worth one atomic mass unit in the nucleus. Joining them in the nucleus is the neutron. The neutron has no charge. It is not positively charged, it's not negatively charged, it has no charge. Okay, and it is also worth one of those atomic mass units, one of those special ways of talking about the size of things that make up the atom. Um, and they're, like I said, they're located in the nucleus. Um, they have no charge. The last particle that makes up the atom is called the electron. The electron has a negative charge, so it is the exact opposite charge to the proton. The electrons are very, 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 I can say very millions of times, and it would still not simplify how teeny tiny they are. They are so small and their size is so insignificant that when we're talking about the size of the proton and the neutron, we're talking about the size of these particles that make up the atom, we don't give the electron any credit. They are worth zero atomic mass units. They have no mass when considered against the giant mass of the protons and the neutrons. That is how teeny tiny they are. They are located in their own special place in the atom called the electron cloud. While there, they are moving super fast. They are moving in random order and random positions and random ways within that electron cloud, within their spot within the electron cloud. They're moving so fast and so randomly um, and they're so teeny tiny. Okay, so that is all about the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons within the atom. That's their location. This is just the basics. So then we have to describe these atoms. How do we talk about these atoms? There's a couple different ways that we talk about atoms. The first one is by the number of protons. The number of protons of an atom represents a special number. And we refer to that as the atomic number. This is the defining number of that atom. That atom is defined by its number of protons. And then we refer to that as the atomic number. The atom number. Atomic is how we describe atoms. Atomic number. Another way we describe what this atom looks like, what's in the atom, is by the atomic mass. The atomic mass is measured in atomic mass units, those AMUs, from that we talk about. Remember, the proton has one, the neutron has one, and the electron has zero. So we talk about the atomic mass as the number of neutrons in that atom plus the number of protons. And that's what makes up the atomic mass of that atom. So why aren't we talking about the electrons? Again, the electrons are teeny tiny. They are so small, they're not part of that nucleus. They're all on their own out there in the electron cloud. So we don't really use them too much to describe the atom. And this is because of a couple reasons. One, they have no mass. When we're talking about the atomic mass units, again, remember they're so teeny tiny, their mass is insignificant when we're talking about it. And also, the, um, when I pointed out the electrons and they have that negative charge, that negative charge is the exact opposite to the proton's positive charge. The positive and negative charge counteract each other and they always want the pe to them to balance. But again, we define this atom by its number of protons, the atomic mass. So the number of electrons just happens to match. If you add up the charges, positive versus negative, they're gonna wanna match. They're gonna wanna be electrically neutral is the big science word for that. They're, all atoms are gonna want to be that electrically neutral with the same number of electrons as protons. But we talk about the atom number of protons. The electrons come in elsewhere. So a few key points from here, a few of the major overarching points of the atom, if you put all of this information together. The first one is that each element is going to have a different atomic number because they're defined by the number of protons. So if you change the number of protons in an atom, you're going to change its identity. It's going to be a totally different kind of atom. The atomic mass is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. 
Again, the atomic mass does not include anything about the number of electrons because those electrons are so small, we don't even calculate their mass in atomic mass units. And again, these atoms are electrically neutral, same numbers of protons as electrons. So if you were to add up all of the charges, it would equal zero because it has the same number of protons and electrons. And that is the low down everything you need to know about the atom.